Hello everyone, this is Carrie from Razor Sharp Crafts and this is going to be hopefully a quick video. My husband just ran out to have a beer with a friend. My kids are in bed and I had just finished, well not finished cutting, but I was working on cutting up papers for tomorrow's show or tomorrow's video and I can finish up the two pages that we kind of left undone. Um, before we get to that. Um, these tutorials are all over on minialbumscraps.ning.com. After you sign up, you'll see a tutorials tab at the top of the page. You click on it, they're all listed there. Um, it's free to join, so I'm not trying to get you to go spend money to join a site or anything, so check it out. Lots of swaps happening. Um, they open on the 1st, the 8th, and the 15th, so Head over and check it out and see if it's something for you. Um, my blog is razorsharpcrafts.blogspot.com and like I said in my last video, please <clears throat> head over to my blog and follow it. I have some uh, projects that I haven't done videos on, but I've posted them on my blog with some descriptions on how to do them and whatnot. Um, so check it out and of course if there's anything you want to see a tutorial on just uh, shoot me a message on my blog or on here but okay so let's get to this before my husband gets back and wants to go to bed and so there was this one and this one this was the one that we were working on today and um i'm actually in the process of trying to get the video to load onto youtube but it ended up so long that YouTube's giving me a problem uploading it, so I may have to take it tomorrow and break it into two parts. Sorry, I hit my tripod. Okay, there we go. Alright, so there's this one, and then I figured out what I wanted to do with this one. This one, all we had left to do was cover up our magnet here on the closure. So, what I have done is I just cut a piece of black cardstock to seven eighths of an inch by two inches and then I just used the half inch corner chomper and what we're going to do with this is we're going to put it behind here like that and then I fussy cut out one of the little piggies and we're going to put it over it on this side and then I'll line this up the black up to go with the piggy. So, what do I want to use? I think I'm going to use a piece of score tape right in the middle of the pig just to really hold him down. Oh gosh, don't rip the piggy. Oh, did I rip his little tail off? Oh, I hope I didn't rip his tail off. No, I didn't. Okay. And then I think I'm going to use some liquid glue on the rest of them. I like this Scotch Quick Dry Adhesive. It uh, doesn't really dry sticky. And it dries clear. And it kind of dries, well, like it says, quick dry. So it dries pretty quickly. And of course it's clogged wouldn't be glue if it wasn't clogged, right? Okay. And I just use a safety pin. Stick it in the end there. Um. Sorry. I'm trying to just get a scrap piece of paper. There we go. Make sure it's opened up. I'm kind of in frame. I'm really happy I get to do this because now if I get some craft time tomorrow, we can get onto a new page. Let's take that out of there, and then we're just going to eyeball it up to look good. 
uh, too much glue. And then you put I'm hoping this isn't too thick. Sorry, I was off screen ripping it, but I put quarter inch score tape on there. Get off. I'm just saying, I hope I didn't do a too thick of one, which doesn't look like it. Okay. How am I going to. Here we go. There we go. That magnet keeps wanting to just snap shut. You can't see what I'm doing. Just kind of lining up the black piece on one of the lines on my mat here so I know it's straight. Is my head in there? Probably, huh? this to look decent so all right let's hope that worked looks pretty good my only concern I was going to say my only concern is the pig's belly is lifted off and I am just going to put little dots of glue on his little, little leggies and uh hope that's enough. I didn't put much on them at all. And then just hold them down for a second or two here. I was thinking of doing Mod Podge over the whole thing. Which might work if you wanted to go that route to Mod Podge the little piggy on. I just didn't want to, I wanted his legs attached because I don't want them to get ripped off, you know? Okay. Look at that. Little leg is not staying down. Should have set something on this. Something that can't glue down, but it's heavy enough to hold those little legs down. I'm using bottles of my textures and dazzlers. Ah, <laughs> oh, there I go again. I'm sorry. I think my tripod, yeah, my tripod's a little closer to my chair than what it normally is. I didn't take a lot of time to set up. I just hurried up and turned the camera on and got to it. Right. So there, that completes that one for us. Now, this one. Now if you remember correctly, I said we had to, we're going to have to lift this up to put the magnet in there. I think I want to put this magnet on first though. Alright, we're going to sandwich, I cut out two of these little signs from the 
um, paper and we're going to sandwich them together, put the magnet in between them, put them one on the back, one on the front, so it creates the pull up. So we need a magnet. I hope I'm talking loud enough for y'all to hear. Ah, okay. Sorry for the bouncing. Sorry. Close your eyes for a minute. But I've got to get that leg where every time I move my chair, I'm not hitting the tripod. Alright, I think I'm good now. There we go. Sorry. All right. So now we just got to figure out where in between these. Because there's got to be enough space on this side to seal it. I'd say right about there. So what I'm going to do is just put a little piece of score tape on it. To hold it into place. I'm off camera. Imagine that, right? Alright, right there is good. Yeah, that's real good, Carrie. You can't even see that line. Does anybody know where that line was? right about there. So I want I need it to be Yeah it was right there. Okay. Let's do this. Okay. Oh. Sugar. This was the one I wanted to be on top. So, it wouldn't have lined up because it would have been too far this way. It's okay. Okay. All right. Easily redo it here.
David, go get a drink. Sorry, my son's up coughing. Okay. So now, I am putting tape on this side because this one's already got tape on this side, so they'll sandwich just like that. Now, Make sure I got it right side up here. And I'm really glad that I just looked at what I did. Because before we attach all this, we need to cover this page. Which I have that paper right here. This is eight. If I was in screen here, let's zoom. I thought I would get it right. This is eight by seven. So this is seven and three quarters by six and three quarters. So we're just going to adhere this down. Ew. There we go. And then what I did here is see all those. And we're just gonna separate it like that over that little fold in the page. And um, give me a second and I'll give you this measurement. And if I'm going too fast or I forget a measurement, just ask in the comments, I'll gladly give it to you. I'm just, I'm trying to go a little quicker because, like I said, I want to get this done before my husband gets back. So that way, because he'll definitely be ready to go to bed and our bedroom's right next to my craft room. Well, actually, like, my craft room's attached to our bedroom, separated by a door. That's it. So, and he'd probably sit in there and yell stuff the whole time just to irritate me so this is six and three quarters by one and three eighths was what I made this mat six and three quarters by one and three eighths and this one in between the two pages is the same six and three quarters by one and three eighths And this one actually attaches here. So I kind of I was kind of trying to make it look like it's cohesive. Is that the right word? Somebody correct me if it's wrong. But so that it flows. Probably using the completely wrong word. My husband yells at me for that type of stuff. He says if you don't know the word, don't use it. So now we can attach this. So I'm going to say right about there. And I'm actually going to put 
right here. I'm going to take my eighth of an inch score tape. I'm going to put a line as tight to that magnet as I can, just so that I could get a good adhesion around the magnet. Adhesion. Is that a word? Am I making up words now? I guess I can do that, right? You're allowed, right? Okay. Now we're just going to try to center it on the page the best you can. Nope, nope, don't do that to me. Alright. Oh. And then when I was cutting these out, I actually laid them down and held them really tight to each other. And then I used my X-Acto knife to trim to try to make them exactly the same. It takes time and patience, but it can be done. And now I'm realizing it only really mattered for them to line up from the one side, like my head. I know my head had to get in that shot. There. Now, need another magnet. Okay. So, okay, when I have to pry up a paper, I use my Cricut spatula and just slide it under there like that. Okay, I hope you could see that, but all I did was pry it up on one side, I slid the magnet in, and then I used this one to pull it over into place, and then I just made sure it was lining up good. And there you go. So, ah, oh, I keep throwing those in the wrong bin. So now, this, don't put anything on it, it's a photo mat. Don't put anything on it, it's a photo mat. Don't put anything on it, it's a photo mat. Now I have these already cut to size. This is four and three eighths by two and three quarters. So, and then we're just going to line that on there, just like that, and this one is 4 and 3 eighths by 4, so be very careful you don't mix it up and lay it down the wrong way. Um, the 4 and 3 eighths way is going to go across here. Alright. And you tuck it down in there. Maybe. There. Now we got our nice little pocket. 
for our photo mat. And then these are the same sizes. Four and three eighths by two and three quarters. Ooh. I'm wondering if I'm going to be able to finish this album with the ATG tape that I got. Because this is my last roll. I don't have any more. Hopefully our craft store has some. I actually That was one of the things I actually got them to start carrying. Because I was ordering it in bulk online and it gets expensive. Especially since you always get, I always order the acid free because I don't want to take the chance. I know they say that it would take so blah 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 long to break down a pitcher, but I still don't want to take a chance. Alright, so four inches by four and three eighths. And on pockets like this is a great place to use scrap papers that you've already used throughout the book. Any of these small areas, make sure you're using scrap papers because like I say, we're going to use like the whole stack of paper pretty much. So you don't want to be cutting up big pieces for these little pieces right here. That's why like these are ones I used on other pages. And then this, I had a big piece for here so that's why I just kind of kept using it throughout there. So this one is done except for the photo mat, photo mats, and we'll put one there, one there, one there. Voila! God, I love that. I love magnet closures. So, just to recap what we've done so far, we had this as our front page. We've got a belly band to hold in a photo mat here, pocket here for photo mats flip it over. This opens up. Photo mat, photo mat, photo mat. And we're going to put a lean-to pocket here. And a journaling spot will slide into that lean-to pocket. Or you could always make another photo mat if you wanted to. That's your choice. I like to put a journaling spot so you can journal. And then this page, we got a little pocket here. It's going to hold our, our um, photo mats. And then this opens up, and we got, it'll be a photo mat, journaling spot, photo mat, journaling spot, photo mat. And I think in these ones, in the other book, I put like two journaling spots in each. So, that's where we're at so far. We got two of the four pages done. Whew, we really need to kick our butts into high gear if we're going to get this done before I leave next week. So, so with that said, I am going to go ahead and close out this video. Um, and uh, start cutting paper for the next one until my husband gets home. So, minialbumscraps.ning.com, all the tutorials are there. All listed in order please check them out and check out the site for any swaps you may want to join we also just have forums where you can get to know each other get to know scrappers all sorts of stuff like that it's pretty fun and then uh, razorsharpcrafts.blogspot.com is my blog please check it out I would love to get some more followers on there so thank you all very much for watching and we'll see you soon bye bye